NASA's Opportunity rover records the longest mission to Mars to date. The robot has been on Mars for 15 years and has made all kinds of important discoveries during this time. NASA itself describes the Opportunity rover mission as one of the most important NASA missions of all time. This is mainly due to the spectacular finds of the Opportunity rover, which have significantly influenced the knowledge about Mars and have fueled speculation on possible life on Mars. But what did the Opportunity rover actually discover on its long journey across Mars? The Original Goal of the Opportunity Rover Mission The original goal of the Opportunity Rover was to geographically explore Mars. Specifically, this was to take place in areas of Mars that had been previously discovered by other Mars robots and analyzed as potentially water-bearing. Therefore, the main goal of the Opportunity Rover in 2004 was to make explorations on Mars that prove the existence of water. For its mission, the Opportunity rover landed near the planet's equator. From here, Opportunity was to explore some areas. NASA originally scheduled 90 days for the mission, however, this period was far exceeded. In addition, the Opportunity rover covered more than 46 kilometers during its mission, a new record for NASA. The Opportunity rover completed its mission in 2019. Discoveries in the Endurance Crater Still in 2004, the Opportunity rover explored the Endurance Crater, a 12-meter-deep crater which was not far from the landing site of Opportunity. Here, the Opportunity rover first analyzed the individual layers of the crater. The Opportunity rover then drilled several holes at different locations to further investigate the layers of the Endurance Crater. Within the Endurance Crater, the rover also examined several rock formations and encountered fault lines. The origin of the fracture lines was believed to be related to the crater impact itself. NASA also suspects that the fault lines may be due to water. After a few months, investigations of the Endurance Crater showed that there must have been salt water in it. The Opportunity rover also revealed that the crater was covered by salty water several times which dried out again and again. This was a sensational find for NASA. Pictures from the Victoria Crater In 2006, the Opportunity rover arrived in Victoria Crater and explored it until 2007, when the Opportunity rover found several meteorites, including the famous meteorite Santa Catarina. Most importantly, the Opportunity rover took breathtaking pictures of the Victoria Crater to explore the geographical location of the crater. Opportunity also found the Gilbert site in the Victoria Crater, where Gilbert in turn found deposits of minerals whose existence was unknown until 2007. The Opportunity rover also found a hematite ridge. This discovery also brought NASA new insights into the rocks on Mars. Meteorite finds in the Meridiani Plain In July 2009, the Opportunity rover discovered several meteorites in the Meridiani Plain on Mars. The discovered boulder is a 70-centimeter large meteorite called Block Island, which was made of iron. In addition, Block Island showed unusual depressions, which were caused by its weathering. In September 2009, the Opportunity rover found the next meteorite called Shelter Island. A short time later, Opportunity encountered another meteorite called Marquette Island in the Meridiani Plain. All meteorites were examined by the Opportunity rover for their materials. NASA suspects that the meteorites are fragments of a large meteorite which hit Mars a long time ago. The Impact Crater Concepcion In 2010, the Opportunity rover made another sensational find on Mars. After the Mars robot had just finished its investigations of the meteorite, it found the impact crater Concepcion. The special thing about the Concepcion impact crater was that it was not old and must have been freshly formed only recently. In the Concepcion impact crater, the Opportunity rover also found several meteorites, which were responsible for the crater. These meteorites had black crusts, 
which again indicated an extreme speed of impact. The Exploration of the Santa Maria Crater Before the Opportunity rover reached the Santa Maria Crater, it was able to take its first pictures of a dust devil in December 2010. The small tornadoes are more common on Mars, but until then, only a few images of them existed. The small tornado images taken by the Opportunity rover in December 2010 enabled NASA to better assess the tornadoes on Mars. Afterwards, the Opportunity rover discovered the large Santa Maria crater. It was a crater with a diameter of 80 meters. Bright rock veins in the Endeavour crater In 2011, the Opportunity rover discovered the Endeavour crater, a huge crater with a diameter of 22 kilometers. The large diameter indicated a large meteorite impact. The discovery of the Endeavour crater was important to NASA as the width and depth of the crater allowed the Opportunity rover to study many different rock layers over the next few weeks. During the investigation of the crater, the Opportunity rover found evidence of former water deposits. Among other things, the Mars robot found rocks that contained a large amount of zinc. This could only be caused by processes in which water was involved. NASA suspected that water ice melted beneath the rock layers of the crater as a result of the meteorite impact in the Endeavour crater. The water then released the existing minerals so that they could enter the rock. Images of Murray Ridge In 2014, the Opportunity rover drove along Murray Ridge to collect more clues about possible water resources on Mars. The Opportunity rover made another sensational discovery. The robot took pictures of rocks containing clay. This rock was then examined more closely. The clay contained in the rock indicated former water deposits. A short time later, the Opportunity rover also took pictures of a comet that flew very close to Mars. The comet Siding Spring was photographed by the Opportunity rover from a distance of 139,000 kilometers. These images were also of great importance to NASA. Clayey Soil in Marathon Valley In 2016, the Opportunity rover was located in Marathon Valley. Here, the Mars robot also found clayey soil, which indicated former water deposits. The clay had already been sighted by the Mars satellites before, whereupon the Opportunity rover should examine it more closely. In order to investigate the clay, a small trench was dug with the wheel of the Opportunity rover. This small trench in the clay was then examined in detail for its composition. The Opportunity rover found important clues to the mineral content of the clay. Huge dust storms over the Perseverance Valley NASA has long known about the great dust storms that repeatedly occur on Mars. However, until the year 2018, there were no detailed images of a dust storm at close range. In June 2018, however, a dust storm occurred near the Opportunity rover. The rover took many different pictures of the storm's origin and subsequent course. On these images you can see, among other things, the sheer scale of the dust storm, which amounted to 41 million kilometers squared and covered a quarter of the entire surface of Mars. Discoveries of Liquid Water One of the most important discoveries made by the Opportunity rover during its time on Mars is the large amount of evidence that points to the existence of liquid water. Already in 2004, the first evidence of water deposits was found. At that time, Opportunity found large concentrations of sulfur in the rock, which can only occur when exposed to water. In addition, the Opportunity rover on Mars repeatedly made discoveries of salts, which also pointed to former water deposits. The Opportunity rover also provided numerous evidence of water, which was formerly present underground in the form of groundwater. NASA then announced former water deposits on Mars. Evidence for Water on Mars In addition, the Opportunity rover made numerous discoveries that pointed to water on Mars. These open waters were already occupied by the Opportunity rover in 2004. It took pictures of huge areas where NASA suspected a salt lake or an ocean, which must have existed a long time ago. The Opportunity rover found many more such areas on Mars, 
which indicated formerly open standing waters. The areas discovered by the rover also contained rocks that indicated former coastlines. Some of the other areas discovered by the rover are several thousand square kilometers in size. Share your opinion with us. What do you think about the discoveries the Opportunity rover made on Mars? And which discoveries of the Opportunity rover on Mars fascinate you the most? Let us know your opinion in the comments.